Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a quick DIY that I'm working on and I thought I would show you how I'm going to decorate this top of a dresser that I have and I have it in the living room, I use it for storage and I'm trying to make it look a little bit more festive and a little bit more fall so I thought I'd show you what I'm working on to do that and at the top you can see these green candles here, really lovely, quite large candles and these were actually Dollar Tree finds, um, they're the Maison Atelier brand and they also had some smaller ones and some white ones. I found them a while back. Um, but I've held on to these for a while. I think they're really lovely. And so I have those. And these golden candlesticks that I have are from Michael's. They were on sale for, I believe, $6. And they have another set that looks somewhat similar to it. And I believe it was $10 a piece. So definitely check out Michael's. You never know what they're going to have on sale. And they have a ton of holiday stuff right now. Um, I picked up some other items I'll show you too, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, like a quick DIY to make this look a little bit more festive and a little bit more fall. And as you can see, I have a Dollar Tree ribbon here. It's a really pretty kind of orange one. And I have a hot glue gun and also um, a pair of scissors. So what I'm going to do is take this ribbon and I'm going to cut it to size and I'm going to use it to decorate the candle itself because I'm not actually going to burn these. These are just going to be decorative only. So for this step, I'm going to make sure that I have the edge folded over so I have a nice base to work off of and it doesn't get on the candle. And I decided I wanted the positioning to be on the bottom, so I'm aligning this with the bottom here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue right in here along the double fold and hold it in place for probably about 20 seconds or so, maybe 30 seconds. And if you want this to be a 360 type of arrangement where you can look at it from all ends and have it be as beautiful as possible, you can always take some Dollar Tree crystals and add it there as kind of like a little accent and it will cover up that and you don't even have to glue it because they have adhesive in the back. So here are what the finished candlesticks look like once they're all decorated and this is a really small display basically that I set up in my living room but I thought I'd walk you through it. You can do a lot of things with bargain items, um, specifically the little runner that's on the back there is actually just um, clearance fabric from Walmart. I believe it was a dollar twenty, and it's kind of a really pretty plaid and it has some gray and also um, some orange to it so I thought it would match really well. And the plate in the back is actually a charger plate that you use um, to kind of dress up your table and I thought it would be really pretty as kind of an accent piece that says eat, drink, and be thankful. I got it at Michael's for $2.99. And then I have a little copper mug there. You can also find those at Walmart. I believe um, they're under $10. So here is my first display and I'm going to change it out and use some different pieces and show you guys what you can do with it. So for another quick option, if you don't have a charger plate handy or you want something a little bit more substantial or you just want something that's a little bit more cost effective, you can find this um, display tray and this is actually from Dollar Tree for only a buck. So I thought that was a really great one. There are a couple other options that they have, but I really love this one and it still fits the theme because it has the same kind of color scheme. So this DIY is perfect if you love kind of rustic natural decor. You may recognize some of these from earlier projects on my channel, um, but I'll just walk you through it really quickly. Um, the candlesticks are from Dollar Tree and they're glued with the little flat um, votive holders and I added some burlap ribbon around them as well as some crochet ribbon. And then I just inserted some of the little Dollar Tree votives inside and um, the flower arrangement in the back also uses an arrangement of different flowers. The largest flower I actually picked up at Dollar General, but you can find similar flowers at Dollar Tree. And it's actually, a I believe, a coffee can that I took twine and I wrapped it around and hot glued it on there. And for the wreath, I just used one of the flat foam wreath bases. And what I did is I took a burlap ribbon, I wrapped it around there and hot glued it closed. And then I inserted some different flowers. Um, I paid particular attention to pick ones that had kind of a metallic feel to them, so it kind of ties in. Um, if you use some metallics, they tie in together. The letter I picked up from Walmart and I painted it gold, so you can have kind of like a more personalized feel. And then I just took a burlap ribbon on the top and made it into a bow. 
So for this project, I used my Dollar Tree Owl sticker. Um, this was a project that I made a while ago. You just take a picture frame, I put some burlap in the back of it, or you could use um, just different colored paper, and then I put a, an owl sticker on top of it. And it looks really fun and festive, and it kind of sets the theme that we're, we're creating something fall. Um, there and then you can see a stack of books and this is one of my favorite decorating tricks It creates a little bit more visual interest and the colors of the books that you use will kind of add to the feeling of the whole situation So I used um, a black book in there to kind of match the picture frame and some other colors to kind of highlight um, The idea of fall there and you can also use a smaller picture frame um, You can use like an ornate one that has a little bit of gold or different colors So it feels a little bit more fall um, for this, I shopped my home, and I actually used um, a little box that I had, and I just turned it up on end. And another item I already had laying around my house was this little vase, and this was an old kind of tarnished vase that we have, and so it has kind of metallic, but it also has kind of a darker color, so it matches the picture frame as well. And you can see the candle holders on both ends are there they're, um, to kind of anchor the whole situation. And because they're a little bit taller, they add a little bit more height and interest. So the key for this is just to kind of um, arrange it so that there's, you know, kind of a path for your eye to move. So kind of up and down and, um, you know, group items together and try to remember not to make it completely symmetrical because sometimes... Um, when it's completely symmetrical, it has less interest. So don't be afraid to add an odd number of items. And just as another example, I went ahead and changed out a few more of the items so you can see how you can really substitute different items and it'll still work and give you that same type of feeling. So I substituted out the owl picture frame for the Dollar Tree tray in the back there and because it has a similar size, it still works in the arrangement. And instead of the vase, I went ahead and put up a little owl piggy bank that I had and he was a really bright color but I had recently um, repainted him kind of um, a little bit of a maroon color which still works it gives you the same type of fall feeling so here's another arrangement that I made just shopping my home and in the back there you can see some vases and those are actually tea bottles that I rinsed out and I hot glued some twine to them so it has kind of a more rustic looking um, finish to it and I added some Dollar Tree flowers there's one spray in the back of each of those and I took the candles and I just took them off of the candlestick. So if you don't have candlesticks, you can still do the DIY and it'll still look really cute. And the other white candles that you see there are also from Dollar Tree. It was the same brand, the Maison Atelier brand that they have. And I took some chickens that I have. These are little roosters and those are just family items that we have. And I felt that I would include them, see, because they have kind of the same color scheme. So it gives you the same feel. It still feels very fall. So don't be afraid to pick things that you don't think are related, as long as they have the same type of color scheme. And here's the final look. You can take three items of pretty much anything. It could be candles or flowers and vases or um, just about anything that kind of matches and goes together. And because you do it in kind of an odd number, it'll look more cohesive and definitely a little bit more modern um, when you have it kind of minimalistic like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you can, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite um, setup is. Which one do you prefer? And maybe I'll take your suggestion because I can't decide which way to decorate it. So let me know in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys have a great week. See you later.